Uh, hi there, my name's uh, Macaulay Rind. Um, so in regards to the COVID uh, lockdown that we've had, um, what I'd say was that uh, it's, it's it's sort of a bit like a, an apocalypse, something that you would you would think you'd see in a movie. Um, I mean, in regards to public transport, there's there's no buses. Um, there were at the start. Sorry, there was buses now. There was no buses at the start of uh, uh, of the lockdown going about. Uh, there was bare minimum, um, and there was no one on them. They were they were stopping at sort of every stop for you know minute two minutes with no passengers. Um, when I when I was travelling, I went to the the Royal Infirmary to volunteer, um, and when I when I was travelling there, they um, you know the, you couldn't get on a bus. Um, taxis were few and far between. Um, you would I phoned up city cabs once to get a taxi, and uh, they said there was two cars on the whole day. You know, so they said that the, the possibility of you getting a taxi in the next hour is not going to happen. Um, what else has been strange? I think there's been a, a better community spirit, which is which sounds quite quite sad, but um, because there should always be a community spirit. But people have been trying to actively help each other out. Um, so the ones um who don't have um sort of any respiratory issues. I've been trying to help out help out others that are nearby that have and who have been um in the shielding category where they, they can't leave the uh the house at all um they can't see anyone um because obviously the risk of um them catching it would be increased which means um they, they, they might unfortunately um not make it if they catch it um everything else shops completely different um it used to be the case just walk in a shop brush past people um, you know, it, it, it could be as busy as you want it to be, uh, and now it's a one-way system that must be followed. And um, through even big supermarkets, you'd have to follow the system. Um, and it's uh, it's it's you're sort of frowned upon if you if you don't. It's it's not like a, a joke. People will be upset at you um, if you if you sort of go the wrong way or, or skip an aisle or something. Um, people don't want to be in close contact with other people. Um, even now in June, your sort of families can meet in other sort of bubbles, or you can meet one other household. Um, and even then, you you still feel strange going up near someone which beforehand, I mean, you you used to not be bothered if someone brushed past you or someone gave you a hug or you know stuff like that. It was never a big, it was never a big thing. Um, I think afterwards it might still be the same. Even when this sort of starts to subside, people the people will start to actively sort of avoid each other a little bit. Um, and especially people that are shielding until there's a virus, even if they catch it, when the risk is really low, it's, it's still it's still not a, not a great thing to have for them if they have respiratory issues. Um, what else has sort of uh, sort of been a bit strange? Um, uh, I'm trying to think what else. The five mile distance thing in Scotland is uh, is quite strange. You're used to going away in, in in June or July, going to England or abroad, or you know, and. Uh, and now it's frowned upon, so yeah.